Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome back and uh, this is uh, lecture number 47, we will continue our discussion on eigenvalues and eigenvectors. In particular, today we will uh, focus more, more on evaluation of the eigenvalues and some uh, good worked out problems will be discussed. So, let us start with this uh, problem here, find eigenvalues and eigenvectors of this matrix. Again, a very simple matrix we have uh, taken. 2 square root minus uh, 2 and then square root 2 and again here square root 2 and uh, this 1 there. So, the characteristic equation we have to write down as a first step to find the eigenvalues that means the determinant of this a minus uh, lambda i is equal to 0 that is the characteristic equation uh, we have. So, here the lambda will be just subtracted from the diagonal entries otherwise this is just the matrix A. So, 2 minus lambda and square root lambda again here the same uh, element is square root 2 and then 1 will be 1 minus lambda is equal to 0. And now, we can uh, simplify this easily. So, we can multiply 2 minus lambda to this 1 minus lambda and then this minus uh, this 2. So, that can be simplified to um, give exact minus 2. So, uh, this is uh, the 2 minus lambda and then we have uh, 1 minus lambda and minus 2. So, what do we get here the 2 and then uh, this will be minus 2 and here minus 1. So, 3 minus 3 lambda and plus this lambda square and then we have minus lambda minus 2. So, this 2 gets cancelled and we have exactly uh, this characteristic equation which is lambda times this lambda minus 3. So, here we have uh, this characteristic equation which tells that there are two uh, eigenvalues lambda is equal to 0 and lambda is equal to 3. So, the eigenvalues here are lambda is equal to 0 and lambda is equal to 3. So, now we will compute the eigenvector corresponding to lambda 1 the first eigenvalue that is 0 here. So, we have to solve the system of linear equation a minus lambda i x is equal to 0. So, the lambda is 0. So, this is simply this a. So, we are solving basically this a x is equal to 0 or we are trying to get the null space of this uh, uh, a x is equal to 0 and the generator of the null space or the basis of the any basis of this null space will be the eigenvector. So, here uh, uh, getting to this a here we have 2 square root 2 and square root 2 and 1 here and then the vector x 1 x 2 is equal to 0. So, we need to solve this equation. So, how to get this one let us uh, just uh, take a while here. So, this 2 and square root 2 that is the first uh, row which we can keep as it is. The second one is square root 2 and 1. So, we want to make this 0. So, we can divide the first row for instance by a square root 2 and this will be 0 then and here 1 1. So, that will be also 0. So, this is the uh, row reduced echelon form of the given matrix. So, we have basically this first equation which says that 2 x 1 uh, minus a square root 2 x 2 is equal to 0 and we have one free variable which we can take uh, whichever we want. So, let us take this x 2 is a free variable because as per our our notations here this is the first uh, the pivot here. So, this x 1 is not free and then we can take as x 2 free, but any case in any case we can take any one of them and the other one will depend on on the given uh, chosen number. So, here the x 2 we can choose and then we can get uh, the x 1. So, out of these many possibilities we can just pick one 
vector that we have done here for instance the x2 was taken as uh, as the free variable alpha and then x1 is coming 1 over square root 2 with the minus sign or any multiple of this we can for instance multiply by square root 2 so we can also take uh, the vector here the square root 2 with minus sign and the square root uh, so, here when we multiply to square root 2 to both, so this will become 1. So, this vector also we can take minus 1 and square root 2 or we can take 1 and minus square root 2. So, we can multiply by any number here that will be the, the, the characteristic uh, vector here or the Eigen vector of the given uh, equation. So, here the one characteristic uh, vector or the Eigen vector we got corresponding to lambda 1 is equal to 0. Similarly, we can also look for the Eigen vector corresponding to lambda 2 is equal to 3. So, again we have to solve the system of equation a minus lambda i x is equal to 0 this time and then so again this uh, lambda will be subtracted from this uh, matrix A. So, that will be the uh, the matrix here for the coefficient matrix for the system of equation and again we have to uh, to get the solution of this one which uh, we can we can uh, again choose one of because the second row can be made to 0 when we multiply the first equation by square root uh, 2 and then subtract from 2. So, the second row will be 0. So, the corresponding to this the row reduced form will be minus 1 and the square root 2 is 0 0 and from here now we can choose this uh, x 2 variable as, as alpha and then here the x 1 from this first equation minus x 1 plus a square root 2 x 2 is 0 that means the x 1 is a square root 2 x 2 x 2 is alpha. So, we have taken here uh, x 1 as a square root 2 alpha which we have written in this form. Uh, the solution uh, x 1 is the square root 2 alpha and x 2 is alpha. So, this is another vector here any multiple of this is square root 2 1 we can take uh, as um, an Eigen vector. So, in this case uh, the Eigen vectors corresponding to the 0 was this minus 1 and square root 2 and here we have uh, this is square root 2 and 1. Again, we can note that these Eigen vectors are linearly independent and as I said in the previous lecture that we will also prove formally this result that corresponding to distinct Eigen values we have uh, the Eigen vectors uh, the set is linearly dependent the set of Eigen vectors uh, is linearly independent or the Eigen vectors corresponding to distinct Eigen values are always linearly independent. So, we can check here also that these two vectors are linearly independent. Another problem this is 3 by 3 matrix. So, 3 uh, minus 2 0 and so on. So, here again we want to find the Eigen values and Eigen vectors of this uh, given matrix uh, which is uh, 3 by 3 now. So, we have to again uh, follow these steps that first we have to write down the characteristic equation from there we can get the Eigen values. So, the characteristic equation will be determinant of this a minus uh, lambda i. So, we have to subtract this lambda from all the diagonal entries which is 3, 3 and 5 there. So, that is the characteristic equation uh, of this uh, matrix and then we have to evaluate this determinant which is uh, not so difficult. So, we have this 3 minus uh, lambda here and that will be multiplied now uh, with this 3 minus lambda into this 5 minus uh, lambda and minus 0. So, this is done and then we have this uh, minus minus plus 2 here. So, this uh, will be then minus 2 times uh, this 5 minus lambda and then the rest will be 0. So, here and then again. So, this is the value of this determinant which uh, should be 0. Then this 5 minus lambda we can take as common from both the terms. So, here we will get this 9 and then we have also uh, minus 3 lambda minus 3 lambda. So, minus 6 lambda plus lambda square. So, minus 6 lambda plus lambda square. So, this is 3 minus lambda whole square. So, and then we have here minus uh, this 4 term 2 to the 4 here. So, this is the characteristic equation here 
uh, with again we can factorize the second term. So, you have 5 minus lambda and this is lambda square minus 6 lambda and this is uh, 5. So, we got uh, here this 5 minus lambda this factor and then this is lambda uh, uh, minus 5 and lambda uh, minus uh, 1. So, is equal to 0. So, that is the uh, characteristic equation from there we can get uh, the roots of the equation. So, we have this uh, 5 minus lambda or lambda minus 5 this whole is square and this uh, uh, we have this uh, lambda minus 1 the another factor. So, the characteristic uh, characteristic equation suggests now that we have a uh, uh, basically two distinct eigenvalues the one is lambda is equal to 1 the other one is 5 which is repeated two times. So, our eigenvalues are now uh, 1 and, and 5 these are the two eigenvalues and we need to compute uh, the eigenvectors corresponding to each. So, when we take this lambda uh, 1 is equal to 1 uh, what do we get uh, this uh, system of equation a minus lambda i x is equal to 0 and our a was was this here 3 minus 2 0 and minus 2 3 0 0 0 5. So, here a minus this lambda i and lambda is 1 now. So, 1 will be subtracted from the diagonal and that will be our matrix here with this 2 minus 2 0 and this is again 2 here the diagonal entry is, is reduced by 1. So, we have this matrix which we want to now solve this system here and uh, we need to get this uh, reduced to echelon form. So, here 2 minus 2 and 0 here we want to make it 0. So, we can just add uh, the row number uh, 1. So, this is 0 and this will become 0 and this is 0. So, here 0 0 4 this is the one step of the row reduced form and now we can interchange uh, these two uh, rows. So, we will get 2 minus 2 0. 0 0 and this 4 and the last row will be the 0 row. So, we have this. So, we have the pivot here in the first column we have pivot in the in the in the third column the second. So, corresponding to x 2 here we can choose uh, as a free variable free variable and then x 1 and x 3 will be computed based on this uh, free variable. So, here the second equation however, suggests that the x 3 is 0 because this third uh, second equation is now 4 times the x 3 is 0. So, which tells us that x 3 is anyway 0 always and then x 2 is a free variable. So, we can take any alpha and then from this equation number 1 which says the 2 x 1 is equal to 2 x 2. So, this x 2 is free variable. So, here x 1 is also alpha because x 1 and x 2 both are equal. So, we have here x 1 alpha, x 2 alpha and x 3 is, is 0 in, in all the cases. So, what do we get? We get uh, this as the solution here of this uh, equation that x 1, x 2, x 3 is the alpha times the 1, 1, 0 because x 1 was alpha, x 2 was also alpha and the third component x 3 is coming to be 0. So, in this case the solution of this system is uh, alpha times 1 1 0 and that is exactly the generator of the null space of this matrix. So, we can pick any uh, any vector any non 0 vector from this null space. So, we, we can take for instance this 1 1 0 or any multiple of it that will be the Eigen vector corresponding to this Eigen value lambda 1 is equal to 1. Moving to the other one, so we have this lambda 2 is equal to lambda 3, the two eigenvalues are equal there, which is 5. And then uh, if we set up the system of equations for this given A, uh, which will be in this case because the 5 uh, will be subtracted from the diagonal entry. So, we will get minus 2 here, minus 2, and the, 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 the last entry, the diagonal entry will be 0. So, we have this. Uh, system and it is interesting now to see that we can reduce to this row uh, reduce echelon form uh, very easily. So, when we subtract uh, row number 1 from row number 2, so we will get 0, 0 and 0 here again this is uh, 0. So, this is the row reduced uh, echelon form corresponding to this matrix 
which suggests now we have here this uh, pivot element and that is the only pivot element. So, we can choose x 2 and we can choose x 3 whatever we like. So, here let us uh, take this alpha 1 and here if we take this L alpha 2 then what will happen uh, from this equation 1 we have uh, the minus uh, this x 1 and minus this x 2 is equal to 0 or minus 2 x 1 minus 2 x 2 is equal to 0 meaning this x 1 is minus uh, uh, x 2. So, that is coming from this equation number 1. So, this x 1 is uh, x 2 means this minus alpha 1. So, we have now uh, the vector here the x 1, x 2 and x 3 with alpha 1 and alpha 2. So, alpha 1 uh, with x 1 we have minus 1 in x 2 also we have a component here this is 0 with alpha 2 again we have uh, in x 1 component there is no alpha 2 in x 2 also there is no x alpha 2 and here we have this one. So, this is the solution of this uh, system of uh, equation x 1 x 2 x 3 is alpha 1 times minus 1 1 0 and alpha 2 times this uh, 0 0 1. Having this, so what we have exactly uh, this is written here. So, x 2 we have chosen this free variable x 3 also free variable and x 1 is coming as this minus alpha 1 which is we have evaluated and this is the this is the solution now which we have already written. So, here we have Here we have these two generators minus 1, 1, 0 and for alpha 2 this 0, 0, 1. So, what do we observe in this case that we are getting this is uh, either one is satisfying the given differential equation uh, the given system of equations. So, here minus 1, 1, 0 satisfies the given equation also 0, 0, 1 is satisfying the given equation and these two are also linearly independent which we can see from the structure itself. Uh, any linear combination like alpha 1 plus alpha 2 is equal to uh, if we set to 0 uh, the alpha 1 alpha 2 has to be 0. So, that is easy check for the linear independency in for this case. So, what we are getting corresponding to this uh, lambda is equal to 5 which was uh, the repeated eigenvalue and we are also getting here the two uh, linearly independent uh, vectors which uh, satisfy this uh, a minus lambda i x is equal to 0. So, basically corresponding to lambda is equal to 5 we are getting two eigenvectors or rather to say two linearly independent eigenvectors we are uh, getting in this case. Now, if we uh, look into another problem here the eigen space of uh, this matrix that is uh, 2 1 and 0 0 then we have uh, this is actually 4 by 4. So, a little bigger matrix, but the calculations are easy. So, in this case uh, if we uh, set up the characteristic equation again a minus lambda i x is equal to 0. So, the determinant of this uh, will give the characteristic characteristic equation and what is the determinant here. So, 2 minus lambda 2 minus lambda and so, the determinant is this 2 minus lambda 1 0 0 and here also 0 this 2 minus lambda 1 and 0 0 and 2 minus lambda uh, and then we have uh, no the second component is 0 then third one is 2 minus lambda and this 1 and 0 0 0 and this 2 minus lambda. What is interesting now that if we compute this determinant, so this and then the rest determinant again we will take. So, this is 0 here. So, again this, so this is coming thus 2 minus lambda uh, power cube nothing else. So, in this case this determinant is nothing but this 2 minus uh, yeah ok the determinant is here when we get uh, we will solve for this determinant we are getting this 2 minus uh, lambda cube. So, 2 minus lambda uh, sorry 4 because there are 4 entries here. So, we will get just the product of, of the uh, diagonal entries for such matrices. So, we get this 2 minus lambda power 4 is equal to 0. So, this is another special case where all the eigenvalues all these 4 eigenvalues are same and that is uh, the 2 or uh, the value is 2. So, if we compute now the uh, because we want to compute the eigen space means the eigen vectors uh, set of all eigen vectors and uh, when we include 0 also that is called the eigen space corresponding to the given 
eigenvalue. So, here the eigenvalue is 2 uh, which is repeated 4 times. So, to get the eigenvectors so we have to set up uh, this a minus lambda i x is equal to 0 this system of equation corresponding to this lambda is equal to 2. So, what do we get now corresponding to this one because uh, this uh, 2 will be subtracted from the diagonal entries and our matrix uh, there was having this 2 in the diagonal entries. So, these diagonal entries will become 0 now. So, we got this uh, as our system of equation and uh, here we do not have to do anything to get the reduced form because we can clearly see uh, this is structure here, uh, this is already the reduced form, though reduced echelon form. So, this is the pivot element and this is another pivot element and this is also a pivot element. So, how many pivot elements are there? This uh, x 2 is the dependent variable, x 3 will be the dependent variable, x 4 will be the de dependent variable and here we have this x 1 which we call the free variable. So, our free variable is this x 1 which is uh, corresponding to this column number 1 because we do not have pivot in this column. So, we can choose this x 1 as, as a free variable. So, x 1 is taken as alpha and now we can get the other variable. So, from this equation number uh, third from the third equation what we are getting. So, we are getting this x 4 is equal to 0. So, no dependency on alpha indeed. From the second equation we are getting this x 3 is equal to 0 and from the first equation we are getting x 2 is equal to 0. So, that is the solution here x 1 we can choose any vector alpha uh, as uh, alpha we have taken here and now if we write down the solution x 1, x 2, x 3 and x 4. So, in terms of the alpha only the first component has alpha all others are 0. So, this is the solution of this uh, system of equation uh, that means here we have only one free variable uh, though the 2 was repeated several times the 2 was repeated 4 times in this particular example, but what we are getting here we are getting only one linearly independent eigenvector. Whereas, in the previous example the eigenvalue was repeated 2 times and we were also getting 2 linearly independent uh, solution of this uh, uh, e equation. But now though the 2 was repeated 4 times, but we are getting only one um, eigenvector corresponding to this uh, 4 times repeated eigenvalue 2. So, what uh, we want to discuss now uh, with this example that that anything is possible just based on this uh, uh, eigenvalue whether it is repeated uh, several times we cannot uh, claim anything about I mean directly looking at the eigenvalue we cannot claim that how many linearly independent eigenvectors we will get as this is the case here the eigenvalue was repeated uh, 4 times, but we are getting only one linearly independent eigenvector and that is this 1 uh, 0 0 in this case. So, uh, and in some cases if it is repeated uh, for example, 3 times we may get 3 linearly independent eigenvectors also. So, the other way around is also possible. Okay, so, thus the basis of this eigen uh, space is uh, this 1 uh, the 3 zeros here the transpose is used here. So, that is the basis for the eigen space on any vector from this uh, uh, eigen space uh, other than 0 is, is the eigen vector right. So, here this is also the basis for the null space of this matrix here 1 triple 0 and this uh, the transpose to show that this is a column vector. Okay, so, the another example where we will uh, look uh, for the eigenvalues and the eigenvectors of this matrix uh, A which is given by this 1 1 and minus 2 and 3. So, here if we uh, compute this determinant of A minus lambda i is equal to 0. So, what will happen? So, we have 1 minus lambda and then 3 minus lambda uh, minus 2 and 1 uh, remain intact. So, here if we if we compute this, so we have 1 minus lambda and multiplied by this 3 minus lambda and minus minus this becomes 2 is equal to 0. So, let us do the calculation. So, 3 and then we have uh, 4 lambdas also we have minus 4 lambda 
and then this lambda square plus this 2 is equal to 0. So, we are getting this equation lambda square minus this 4 lambda and plus this uh, 3 plus 2 this 5 is equal to 0. So, we are getting this lambda uh, minus uh, 5 and uh, lambda uh, plus. So, the plus. So, once more here. So, we have the 3 and then uh, we have uh, minus 3 lambda also minus lambda. So, it will be minus 4 lambda here the minus minus so lambda square and then plus 2. So, we have this uh, lambda square term as it is and minus 4 lambda and plus 5 is equal to 0. So, we get uh, this uh, roots here for this equation. So, we have lambda square then minus 5 times uh, lambda and plus this lambda plus 5 is equal to 0. So, this minus 4 lambda we have written as minus 5 lambda plus lambda. So, here this lambda and this lambda minus 5 and plus this 1 and lambda minus 5 lambda plus 5. Now, this is not working. So, let us just uh, check here that uh, the equation is lambda square uh, minus this 4 lambda and plus 5 exactly and the roots here because it does not have uh, have the real roots. So, that is the point here we are not getting any a factorization in this case. Uh, we are not getting this factorization here lambda plus 5 is coming and then uh, we cannot take common. So, the factorization was not possible because this equation does not have a real root. So, when we uh, solve this equation for this lambda it is a quadratic equation. So, we can easily do that. So, minus b that means 4 b square minus 4 a c and then we have here 2 a. So, divided by 2. So, this is 4 plus minus and then here also uh, uh, 4. So, this will be coming 2 uh, i and then we have a 2 there. So, this is a 2 plus minus i is the uh, eigenvalue here. So, there are 2 eigenvalues. What is interesting in this example that we are getting 2 uh, complex values, two complex values for the eigenvalues though the matrix here was real matrix. So, we had the entries 1, 1, minus 2 and 3, but we are getting here two uh, complex values uh, for the eigenvalues in this case. So, that again shows that uh, the matrix entries may be real, we can have a real matrix, but still we may get the complex roots of this characteristic equation meaning the eigenvalues may be complex. So, a real uh, matrix may have complex eigenvalues that is the remark and then uh, eigenvectors corresponding to now this uh, 2 plus i the first eigenvalue. So, we have one eigenvalue 2 plus i another one is 2 minus i and we will see uh, later on that these eigenvalues will, will always appear. Uh, in, in conjugate form as the root always appears there and not only that we will have something more interesting for the eigenvectors corresponding to these uh, conjugate eigenvalues. So, if we take this 2 plus i and again the same uh, system of equation this a minus lambda i x is equal to 0 we need to solve. So, that will be this 1 minus lambda 3 minus lambda here uh, and x 1 x 2 uh, is equal to 0. So, this equation and now for lambda 1 this 2 plus uh, i we need to substitute for this lambda and what we will get. So, corresponding to this we have uh, uh, this uh, a now uh, the, 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 the coefficient matrix of this uh, eigenvector equation and now we will make this uh, uh, transformation that this r 2 will be now r 2 minus r 1 multiplied by this 1 minus i. So, if you multiply this equation by 1 minus i and subtract from this equation number 2, what we will get? We will get the reduced form of the uh, echelon form and uh, this will be precisely 0 here. So, when we multiply by this 1 minus i, this will be uh, minus uh, 2 and this will uh, become 1 minus i. So, when we subtract this is exactly what happening here the 0 and 0 uh, we are getting the 0 row. So, this is already the uh, reduced row reduced echelon form 
and then what we we have here we have this first equation which is 1 plus i uh, times this x 1 and is equal to uh, x 2 this is the first equation and we can take any arbitrary value for x 2 and we can get the corresponding x 1 or we can get uh, any arbitrary value for x 1 we can get the x 2 because there is only one equation. So, one variable we have to choose arbitrarily. So, by doing so if we take this x 2 1 plus i then we are getting x 1 is equal to 1. So, that is the one uh, possible eigenvector we are getting here. So, the eigenvector corresponding to this lambda 1 is nothing but 1 and 1 plus i that is the eigenvector corresponding to this eigenvalue 2 plus i. The same calculation we can repeat for the other root which was uh, 2 minus i and uh, again what we will get here this is our matrix now for this uh, system of equation and by using this transformation here that uh, the row transformation that r 2 uh, we will now get r 2 minus uh, when we multiply to r 1 by 1 plus i and again the same situation here. So, we can get uh, when we multiply to 1 plus i in this case we will be getting again this minus 2 there and here 1 plus i when we subtract uh, the second row will become 0. So, we have this row reduced form by this uh, transformation and again we have this equation 1 minus i x 1 is equal to x 2 from where we can just set this x 2 is equal to 1 minus i and we can get this x 1 as 1. So, a eigenvector corresponding to this uh, lambda 1 is now this 1 and the 1 minus i. So, we have 1 and 1 minus i as the eigenvector. So, if A is a real matrix uh, this is the, the result not uh, related to this example, but a general result what we have now because what we observed in this example the earlier uh, eigenvalue uh, was uh, 2 plus i and the corresponding eigenvector was 1 plus i. And now we have this 2 minus i and the eigenvector here what we get 1 minus i. So, the eigenvector or one of the eigenvectors here we are getting exactly the conjugate of what we have. Uh, got for the eigenvector corresponding to its conjugate there. So, that is a nice result here in general we have this when A is a real matrix and has complex eigenvalues then the conjugate then the conjugate this lambda bar. So, lambda is an eigenvalue then the conjugate will be also the eigenvalue and that is natural which is coming from this characteristic equation. So, the conjugate uh, will be always there as the root. So, here and what is interesting the interesting is that this uh, we have from this a x is equal to lambda x if we take the conjugate both the side what we will get because a is a real matrix. So, a will remain as it is and this will be the conjugate here for x and the right hand side the conjugate of lambda and the conjugate of x. So, again we have this equation eigenvalues eigenvector equation is satisfied for this x x bar the conjugate of x and the right hand side is just the uh, lambda bar that is the eigenvalue now and x bar. So, what this tells now that this x bar here the conjugate of x will be the eigenvector corresponding to this conjugate of lambda bar. So, indeed we do not have to compute this uh, since we know this result from this calculation that once we have uh, eigenvector corresponding to one uh, complex value of this lambda and its conjugate will be uh, will be the eigenvector of the, the other conjugate uh, eigenvalue. So, here that is the interesting result we have about the conjugate uh, roots or about the conjugate eigenvalues complex uh, conjugate here. So, in this case the eigenvectors corresponding to distinct eigenvalues are linearly independent this is what we have observed at least uh, for the calculations we had uh, in, in numerical calculations and also what we have observed here that a real matrix may have a complex eigenvalue. So, that is interesting here 
and both the eigenvalues and eigenvectors occur as complex conjugate pairs. So, the one once we have the complex value as the eigenvalue, its conjugate will be there and not only that the eigenvectors will be also the conjugate pairs. So, that is an interesting result we have seen and that is true uh, in general not for the example we have just shown. So, these are the references used and thank you for your attention.